In this video, we're going to look at creating a histogram on the TI-8384 calculator with raw data. Here's our raw data in this MyMathLab problem. We can uh, type it into the calculator, and we need to put that into a list. So we go to the calculator, and then we go to Stat, and then click Enter for Edit, and then and under the L1 list, I enter my information. Now if I have some other data in there already, like over here, I've got some data in there now. If I need to delete everything in that, I move up to the top and then hit clear and enter and it'll delete everything in that column. So if you've already got stuff in there, you want to delete that first. Now that we have this all entered in here, we need to go to the stat plot area. So I click second stat plot. I hit enter with the first one highlighted. The rest of these should all be off. I click enter to turn this one on, only this one should be highlighted with on, and then I go down and click a histogram, which is this data, hit enter, should be highlighted. We want our X list to be L1 and our frequency to be 1. And to go down here to get to that, what you can do is you can hit changes to an alpha numeric. So if I click alpha again, it's regular, and then I can click second stat, which brings me to the list, L1 is highlighted. If I had it in other data, I would put these other numbers in there. And then just go down, the alpha is highlighted again, so hit alpha and just type 1. Enter. Okay. Now that that's complete, we need to create the classes, the class width or the uh, over here, and that's done in the window. So I click window. Let's go back here. It says constructive frequency distribution with the first class having a lower class of 0 and a class width of 0.5. So that's what the x minimum will be, the 0. So I'll type 0 into there. And then the maximum won't be the 4, but it will be the m m value after this one, the next one, the 4.5. You want to go all the way to the end, 4.5. So it's always to the last number because the width, remember, goes 0 to 0.5. This would go 4 to 4.5, and we want that end, that maximum. The scale of x is the class width, and it's set of 0.5. The y minimum value, we'll just say a negative half. You can do something very small or even 0. I just do that so you can put it up a little bit. y maximum. We'll put 10, and now the reason why I'm putting 10 is because if we look at the frequencies, you don't see anything over 10. 9 is the highest, so I want to do just something right over that. Then we leave the scale 1 because going up by 1 is fine, and this x res is always 1. All right, then we can click graph, and then our, there is our histogram. You can see that that matches the histogram here. That's the correct answer, B for this one perfectly, right? There's everything. It's slightly different because of the scale, but they're showing the same numbers. And how we can see that these numbers are uh, the same is that we go into here and click Trace. And then as we go, it says the minimum and the maximum. That's the class and class width. And then it shows how many there are. Four. And there's four. I click over. There's nine. Nine. And you can click over and you can see that that'll change all the way over to every bar there. And that's how you can quickly create a histogram with pure data on the TI-8384 calculator.